This video is about using functions. Functions are a kind of complicated expression. They're a command that returns a value, but they hide the complexity of how that value uh, is calculated. And that's really useful because we often aren't interested in the details of how the computer does something. We're just interested in the result. And we'll start with uh, a basic function that does some math, the square root function. And to use it, we first type the name of the function, sqrt, short for square root. And then we type a parenthesis and open parenthesis. And we can see that RStudio will automatically complete those parentheses for us. So let's take the square root of four. If we then click the run button, We'll see down in the console that r has taken the square root of 4 and given us back uh, the answer, which is 2. Functions also work with variables. And so if we go back to our example from yesterday where we had calculated a weight in pounds, so weight underscore lb, and we'll go ahead and just assign it a value. And so remember, the assignment operator is a less than sign followed by a hyphen. If you don't want to type that out over and over again, you can type alt hyphen and RStudio will create that for you automatically. And then the number that we'd calculated yesterday was 0 0.11. So I'm going to run that line of code. It defines this variable and assigns it the value of 0 0.11. And then we can run the square root function on it. So sqrt, open parenthesis, and then now we can type in the name of the variable and press one. And so we can see what the square root of our weight in pounds is. A function is composed of two parts. The name of the function, in this case, sqrt, and then any arguments that the function needs to calculate its value. And so in this case, it's the number four is the argument because we're just taking the square root of a number. So we need to give it a number. Uh, and here the argument is the variable weight underscore LB for weight in pounds. Another function that we'll use fairly regularly uh, is the str function. In computers, all of the values and the variables that we work with have a type. So like it is a number or a character or something like that. And str is an easy way to look up what that type is. And so uh, we could look up uh, the type of weight in pounds by running str as the function and weight underscore pounds as the argument. And it will tell us that it's a number or numeric type in R. And the function name str comes from structure. So what is the structure of this thing that we're looking at? Uh, and it's a number or a numeric value. Uh, we can also run structure directly on values instead of variables. So we can look at the structure of 10. Uh, and we can see that we have multiple types uh, by running uh, structure on uh, a string. And it'll tell us that it's type character. And so again, name of the function, arguments, which are the, the pieces of information that that function needs to be able to work. And so far, we've looked at functions that take a single argument. They only need one thing to work on, uh, but many functions take multiple arguments. And so one example of that is the round function. If we're going to round a number, we need to both know the number that we want to round and how many decimal places we want to round it to. And so to round numbers in R, uh, it's the round function. So we type the name of the function round, we type a parenthesis, and our studio will actually show us what arguments are needed here. We need x, which is the number that's going to be rounded, and then the number of digits 
that we want to round it to. So if I give it 0 0.11 and I say I want to round it to one decimal place and then we run the number, uh, we'll see that we get out 0 0.1. And each of the different arguments is separated uh, from one another by a comma. So it's first argument, comma, second argument, comma, and so on. Likewise, if we wanted to do this using our variable, we could round weight in pounds uh, to one decimal point and run, and we'll get out the same answer. So that's the basic of how functions work. The next step is how do we deal with what comes back from them? These functions return values, and so like with other values, if we don't save the output uh, of a function, there's no way to access it later. So right now we've rounded this number, and it's printed it out to the screen, but that's it. We don't have access to 0 0.1 in a way that we can use it in the rest of our code. And it's common with functions to forget this and think that running round has changed one of the variables that we passed it. So to think that this rounded the variable weight in pounds. But if we look over here in our global environment, we can see that weight in pounds hasn't been rounded. Right? Weight underscore LB is still 0 0.11. And so if we want to work with this rounded value later, we need to assign it to a variable. And so in this case, we could say weight underscore rounded, and then we could use the assignment operator. So I'll use alt hyphen here to create it automatically. And then we can type our code, the round function, parentheses to enclose the arguments, the weight in pounds, which is what we want to round, and the number of decimal places that we want to round it to. And now if I click on the run button, we'll see that we have a new variable, weight underscore rounded, and it's been rounded, uh, it's this value rounded to the nearest one decimal place. So that's the idea behind functions. Uh, they're a way of accomplishing potentially complicated tasks without seeing all of the details, and they're composed of the name of the function followed by parentheses, followed by the arguments or the pieces of information that the function needs to work.